Hi everyone, this is Sindhu and I am here to present our project based on SMS spam detection using machine learning technique. Later on, my friend Lalit will be explaining you the code and will show the output of our, our project. The main objective of our project is to detect whether the SMS we received is a spam or not. Techniques used is machine learning techniques and we use SVM and TFIDF algorithms in order to detect whether the SMS is a spam or not. What is spamming? Spamming is nothing but sending an irrelevant messages over the internet typically to large number of users for the purpose of spreading malware or advertising etc. There are very few advantages of this spamming. Firstly, it takes less cost to advertise using a spamming and few spam messages are also useful for the consumer. Spamming occurs in different media in different forms. Few of them are email spam, instant messaging spam, mobile phone messaging spam, SMS spam, online review spam, web search engine spam, social networking spam, file sharing spam, etc. The most widely recognized form of spams are email spam, SMS spam and online review spam. Our project is based on SMS spam and we will be looking in more detail later on. Why spamming is a problem nowadays? Spamming wastes a lot of people's time with unwanted emails and text messages. It also eats up a lot of network bandwidth. Spamming can also be used to spread computer viruses and other malicious softwares. Spammers take advantages of the victim's inexperience with the computer technology to trick them. Th sending thousands of messages per hour costs in an indirect way to the user like long distance charges per minute to access charges for dialing the internet service provider. One of the US based internet service provider estimates that spam costs it more than $1 million per month accounting to nearly $3 per user per month. Other problems include fraud, theft and global implications etc. How to prevent spamming? There are various methods to prevent spamming. Many organizations as well as individuals have taken it upon themselves to fight against spams in variety of techniques. As internet is a public, it is highly impossible to prevent junk mails completely. Some online services have instituted the policies to prevent spammers from spamming their customers or subscribers. There were many spam filters and machine learning technologies to detect spam messages and emails etc. But for many, these technologies alone has not been enough and so this was turned into the law also in many countries. Coming to our main topic, SMS spamming. It is nothing but spammers targeting users of instant messaging services within the websites. Similar, simply, it is a junk message delivered to the mobile phone as a text message. In North America, less than 1% of SMS messages were spam and in Asia, up to 30% of the messages are spam in 2006. Increasing in the mobile phone users is also one of the main reasons for increasing the SMS spam messages. Fighting against these SMS spam spams are, is difficult due to the low rate of SMS of, for the users and the service providers and the limited availability of the spam filtering softwares. It is a highly difficult to prevent SMS spams completely. On the other hand, due to the scarcity of a public SMS spam data sets, it is also difficult to fight against the spam. We will be looking in more detail about what does the data sets mean in the next slide. In order to tackle all these problems, we use machine learning techniques to fight against the spam. Dataset. Dataset is nothing but a collection of data. It corresponds to the contents of a single database or a data matrix where each column of a data table 
represents a variable and each row corresponds to the given member of a data set data set uh, if um, for sms spamming the data set is a file containing a one message per line and each line is compared to two co composed of two columns the first column is a label whether it is a ham or spam and the second column is a raw text spam is a junk mail and useless mail useless mail that um, junk mail that contains an useless information and the ham is um, it's nothing but it contains uh, some useful message here is the example of a data set the column 1 is a b1 which contains whether the message is a ham or sp spam and the column 2 is a some raw text which is used to identify the text we received is a ham or a spam svm is one of the algorithm which we used in our project it is a classifier we use to classify whether the sms ev received is a spam or not it contains a various text classification approaches There are two types of data, namely training data and text data. Both the training data and text data contains a set of uh, large, a collection of data, which is called as a data set. This algorithm builds a model that assigns a given text message uh, to one of the above categories, to either training data or the text data, and then calculate the probability of the message to be spam or a ham. Another algorithm we used in our project is TF-IDF. TF-IDF stands for Term Frequency Inverse Document Frequency. Term frequency is nothing but the measure of how frequently the word occurs in the document for different length. Inverse document frequency is a measure of measure of the importance of the word. It is nothing but the logarithm of number of documents in corpus divided by number of documents where specific term appears. TF-IDF is nothing but a way to score the importance of each word in the text message and how frequently the word appears in the multiple documents. For example, while calculating the probability, we we in the we go through each word of the text message and calculate uh, its frequent how frequently it was occurred in the many documents of data sets. For example, ease of the other words are that occurs more frequently in many documents, so they can be scaled scaled down while calculating the free, um, probability. And the words call free, hello, urgent occurs more frequently in single document that can be scaled up while calculating the probability of the message. TF-IDF is an algorithm that converts input string message into the numerical form or the matrix form so that the algorithm accepts it and find out how frequently each word in the text occurs in the data set and calculates whether it is a ham or a spam and then the probability of it to be ham or a spam is calculated by using a SVM algorithm here is the output of our project We have given an input message as urgent one week free, and this message was predicted as a spam message, and the probability of the message to be spam is 0.997. Simply, the TF-IDF algorithm is used for the prediction, and SVM algorithm is used for the probability of a, to calculate the prediction probability of the message. conclusion in this sms spam detection we have given an input message and calculated whether it is a spam or not and we have also calculated the prediction probability of the message too this is a how the sms spam detection using machine learning technique works and this is one of the best technique to identify whether the message ev received is a spam or not these are the references we used Thank you. And my friend Lalit will be explaining you the code and how it works and uh, will show the output of our project too. Hi, this is Lalit. So spam is one of the major problems at all time. Imagine Gmail without a proper spam classifier, right? 
So to address the spam issue, as my friend explained, we implemented a spam classifier based on machine learning. For the purpose of this project, we have used Kaggle SMS spam collection dataset for training and test data. So SMS spam collection is a set of tagged messages that have been collected for spam SMS research. It contains uh, one set of messages in English of about uh, 5,500 messages tagged according to spam or spam. So we have taken the base dataset from Kaggle and we have built a SVM based spam classifier using the Kaggle dataset. So let's start with the demo of the app first. So as you can see, our app contains two files. One is spam classifier.py and the training data.csv. So training data is the file which will have the whole data from which the training is done. So if you can see the file, the training data has two columns. One is the spam or ham uh, status of the message and the respective lines. So this is the line and this is the status of that message, whether it is spam or ham. So they are about 6,000 lines out of which the first 4,000 lines have been used for the training data and the last 2,000 lines have been used for the testing data. So this file is read into the uh, algorithm. Uh, the algorithm gets trained and then it classifies the messages according to spam or ham. So let's see the demo. So uh, to run our demo, we should use python spam classifier.py so which will train the data uh, with the data of the training model uh, using the training data.csv file so as you can see it started as server uh, at the port 8999 so we can access the data from this server as follows so you can see that the server request is going to localhost 8999 with eSpam is the servlet and message equal to urgent week free. So this is the input message we are giving. So if you can see the prediction is the spam with a probability of about 0.99% per out of one. So it is 99% uh, chance that uh, the given message is a spam message. Then so let's see, give a normal message. Let's say for example, we are giving hello. So in this case, if it's a 96%, it's a spam message. Let's combine with other words like hello, one week, free. So if you can see the probability is about 0.64% because we actually train the model by using the keywords of week. If there is a word called week, then me, that means there is a probable chance that the given message is spam. Okay. So now let's go to the code. So our code uh, is taken from the spam classifier.py it has uh, a main method one is the main method uh, the main method calls the it triggers the uh, setup server it has two classes one is this server handler class other one is the spam classifier class so whenever the main method is triggered it actually gets the uh, I'll just move this into the screen So whenever the main method is called, it uh, uh, creates a new class of spam classifier and it trains the model and the respective server handler is passed to the classifier and the vectorizer. So the spam classifier class has uh, uh, the following things. So it, it takes the data from the pandas, it reads the training data using the pandas library. It, it takes, reads uh, test data and the training data separately from the first 4000 and the next 4000 line. We use the TFID vectorizer for the vectorizing input vectorization and we use the classifier called SVM classifier for actual classification of the messages. So all these messages are transformed into individual vector tokens and the classifier is uh, trained with the input data. Okay, so the output result will be like one classifier and the vectorizer that is formed from the train model. So we use those variables uh, for the testing our data. Okay, so once a new request comes, it lands at the eSpam request, which internally calls the eSpam method. Uh, 
So eSpam method takes uh, self the constructor, uh, the self class class uh, variable, and the message. This is the actual message that we want to test. So if the message length is greater than zero, it transforms the message into vector tokens, and then the respective class where is called from the vector tokens. So from these vector tokens, it actually checks whether it is a spam or not. The, the response is given part of the result string. So that is written out and that response is what we are seeing on the browser. Okay. So the final result is an actual uh, HTML message with a body of the message, whether it is a spam or not. And the prediction probability about how much percentage the probability is percentage uh, prediction. So the input server is set up from the starting server so the actual server is started from this line so it starts at the 899 port with the local host uh, host so this is the overall flow of our uh, project so as i discussed earlier so the li the libraries that we are using is uh, skykitlearn skykitlearn is a free software machine learning library for python language it features various classification regression and clustering algorithms including support vector machines random forest gradient boosting k means and db scan flask uh, is a micro web framework written in python it is classified as a micro framework because it does not require particular tools or libraries the next library is the pandas it's a open source library which is written in Python for data manipulation.